Today on BAM, we're going to show you how a real industry artist colors characters for animation. We'll show you tips and tricks to help you design palettes, color line art, and add special lighting. And all the PSD files from this video will be available for you guys to download in the description below. BAM Animation Hey, if you're new to BAM, it goes like this. You guys submit art, and we guys redraw the art, as if it was like a real animated show. Yo, what about this one? It looks kind of like a wing, or uh, some sort of alien rock, maybe. Uh, looks like an earth rock to me, man. Anyways, let's look at today's art. Oh, awesome. Cool. Yeah. Dude, we gotta have an alien for this one. Absolutely. This is like better than most of us can draw. We're just television animators. Let's just take some of these elements and make it into like a cartoon. I love this guy because he feels so familiar. Yeah, I definitely have bought like a Red Bull from him at a gas station. She's cool. Um, she should be our main character. Yeah, she seems witty and smart. This is a great lineup to start with. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? We can't get started until we get our scene in place. So let's build a world for these guys. I'm imagining this thing takes place at like an old abandoned gas station. You know like on the highway, those old creepy truck stops? That's like the best place for a UFO to crash. Yeah, and I'm gonna make it out of real textures from photographs. This will kind of give it that gumball look. Oh, it's gonna make the cartoon characters stand out from the photographs. To do this, I drew a normal background, but then I filled it in with a bunch of pictures and textures that I found online. Like this metal here, pavement, these rocks. Now I can just paint over it and add shadows and I'll just adjust the colors until it looks nice. It actually looks really great. The lighting helps it look real. Yeah, and as a bonus, we can easily turn this into a night scene by adding a blue multiply layer. Add some stars, adjust the lighting, and boom. Two backgrounds. When you're designing a character to really hone your design, you should draw your character three times. Push the design further every time you draw it. Once, twice, thrice. Maybe four times. Dude, there's a big difference between your first and last attempts. A lot of beginner artists just go with their first design. But drawing your character a few times helps you streamline it down to something that reads much better. Yeah, yeah that dude. looks awesome on the background. Yeah, you know, we translated all these very different pieces into something that fits together in the same style. Yeah, that's really cool. We got our line art. We're ready to start coloring. Whoa. Dude, aliens probably use this as some kind of rock, dude. Brett? Brett? Uh, just a moment, my scanners detected some uncolored artwork in this quadrant. Uh, uh, Jack. Kusumano, right? <laughs> no, no, no. My name is CMYK from the planet Chromium. I've only taken the form of your friend, Jack, to make you more comfortable. So, so you're not Jack? No. My real form looks like this. It's okay, man. I come in peace. I'm here to help you color these characters. When I beamed you up, I got this uncolored document. Wait, how are you uploading that file? Like, is my phone compatible? Yeah, man, it's like Independence Day. It just works. So in the industry, the person that colors the line art is called a color stylist. And it's one of the lesser known and more misunderstood positions in animation. That's why I'm here to give you a crash course in the basics, based on my experience with animation studios. First is the blocking phase. I want to quickly lay down some colors so I can adjust them later. Let's make a color layer underneath the line art. So that way we don't mess up our lines when we go to paint. This emulates how they would have worked on animation cells back in the 40s. Back then, ink and paint was considered like a low paying job for women only. They worked in non-air conditioned rooms painting on the back side of animation cells. They had to wear white gloves and they couldn't let their hands touch the cells. Nowadays it's a more complex position and a color stylist has many more responsibilities. Select the line art layer and magic wand the outside of the characters. By unchecking the sample all layers box, the wand will only read the line art. We're actually selecting the outside of the characters, so let's press Control shift i to invert the selection. Choose a color here, and paint bucket fill, G, with white. Now we're ready to start coloring. Let's turn back on sample all layers, magic wand the skin, and fill our first color. Actually stop, there's a Photoshop problem here. If I tried to fill the selection, the paint would have some issues with the soft raster aliasing around the line art. It's going to make this white halo effect. I could hand paint this to fix it, but this takes a long time. Let's instead expand the selection by two pixels. This will place the marching ants inside the line, and the color will fill seamlessly. 
I recommend hotkeying expand selection to something easy like F5, and then just smash that button right before the fill. From this base, I can adjust these colors individually to anything I want. Yeah, in digital art, you're never tied down to anything you place. Just select your color, hit Control U, and then you can play with these hue sliders. Yeah, I got this. All right, so uh, here's mine. What do you think? Well, you definitely block filled, but there's more to it than that. The color should help tell the story, describe something about the character, and stand out from the background and the other characters in a scene. Nowadays, shows can have upwards of 300 assets per episode with multiple palettes and special lighting versions, so it all adds up quick. So how did you decide what to change about him? This guy's cool. He feels very 90s grungy, so I want to keep that feeling, but overall, he's really lacking in contrast. You want contrast in value and hue to break up your character. So I'm going to change his shirt. I chose an off-white up here instead of the red. Yeah, I, I really like that because it's not too clean. Which describes his character. I don't think he's washed this shirt in a while. Moving on to the alien, I can use the same steps. I actually like these original colors a lot because they feel very unexpected, but we do run into a problem with these big flat areas of gray. I'll add some more color details to break up these areas and create more interest. Oh, that's nice, he's got some cool spots. <laughs> with this girl, we don't have any colors to reference, so I'll just choose a palette that feels like it fits in the world, but stands out from the other characters. We don't know much about her, but if she's hanging out with these dudes in the desert, she can probably fend for herself. So let's avoid stereotypical girly colors like bubblegum pink and stuff. And then this vaporwave slushy thing. I painted a new blue layer, lowered the opacity, and now we can have this kind of transparent glass effect. And lastly, let's color some of the line art by making a clipping mask layer above our line art layer. Hold Alt and click. And then when I paint on this layer, it will only affect the lines. So I made the glass shiny, his facial hair brown, and give our alien red eyes. Coloring the line art is a good way to soften up some of this inner detail. Yeah, I like that, nice and vibrant. Thanks, they stand off from the background, but still feel like they're at this gas station. So, uh, what about the night scene? Well, let's make a night palette. I'll place some blue on top of the characters and make it a clipping mask and set it to multiply. But I'll brighten up just the eyes to add more contrast in the face. Let's get a good rim light from these neon lights. The built-in tools to add rim lighting are pretty much trash. Oh god, Larry Styles. Instead, let's hand paint our lighting by adding a new clipping mask layer and blocking in some rim lighting. I chose this tealish green color and set the blending mode to screen. The gas station lights are here. Let's keep our lighting consistent with that direction. Yeah, it's important to add realistic lighting. So let's see before and now after. Wow, love that rim light. And uh, thank you for teaching us the basics about how to be a color stylist. No problem, but you should know that color stylists are currently the lowest paid design position in animation, despite the growing complexity of the role. If you guys want to support them, we've linked a petition below. Color stylists deserve equal pay. Yeah, I totally agree, they, they do. Um, hold up. You're like an alien. Why do you color line art? And it, I don't think they sell Photoshop for quantum computers. Did you pirate that? Oh, Brent, don't think about that. Take this, take it back to your friend, and repeat after me. I colored the art. I colored the art. I great I the art. Oh my god, Brent! Uh. Brent, where were you? I oh my god! Jesus, Brent! I colored the art. Where were you? I colored the art. I Yo, colored. you colored these, Brent? That's pretty good, dude. That's, that looks sweet. Good job. Are you sure you did this? Bam, animation. There's no way Brent could have colored the characters. He's not that good. Okay, here's what I know for sure. Step one. People send their art to bam.redrawmyart at gmail.com. Step two, I get the characters and I draw them. Step three, Brent does something. Step four, then we make a finished episode with colored art. F did I miss a step? Where does the color come from? Where does the color come from? Guys, thank you so much for watching. I just want to remind you that we included all the files from this video in the description below. Max and I want you to have access to this stuff, so feel free to download it and try to do this yourself. It'll be a really good learning experience for you guys, and we would love to see what you come up with. And lastly, coming real soon, our next video is going to be a question and answer one. So uh, if you guys actually have any questions for us or about the industry or anything really, uh, leave a comment below. Yeah, and we'll see you next time, guys. Mm -hmm.